London, from winning in a head designer competition, crafting Lady Gaga's hat to meeting the Queen, London-based British Filipino milliner Harvey Santos has done a fantastic job at creating couture headpieces and hats. The 43-year-old Santos met Queen Elizabeth II during the London Fashion Week, on experience, he said, he will treasure forever. We had a conversation. I told her I was from the Philippines and she politely interjected oh, yes, with her accent. And I was like she knows where the Philippines is, and that was great already, he said. The 91-year-old monarch is hardly a regular at the biannual London Fashion Week. That's why her appearance was a welcome surprise for many, including Santos, who was given a hint that a VIP who loves hats will be visiting. Santos was invited to showcase his hat collection as part of the initiative of the British Fashion Council in promoting young brands. They kept telling us to tidy up our stand and be ready because they are bringing a VIP. The last day of London Fashion Week, they rearranged our stand, narrated Santos. He continued, the elevator opened and it was the Queen and the entire room has just been silenced. Her presence was so commanding and everyone just started behaving very proper. She has this energy and aura that make you feel comfortable. She's not uptight. Santos recalled the banter with the Queen lasted for some seven minutes and she also showed interest in the pieces he showcased, themed around his former world, ballet. I told her I was a ballet dancer and when I moved here in London, I started a passion for millinery. Then she joked about it and said, that was quite a leap, he narrated. Originally from Bakur, Kavite, Santos joined the Hong Kong Ballet and danced with them for many years. In 2008, he moved to the UK with his partner and pursued another passion. He was introduced to the world of hat fashion when he opened the pages of the hat magazine. He started attending workshops then studied millinery at the Kensington and Chelsea College. I got addicted. After three months, my dining table has like 60 hats and fascinators on it. Then I craved for some more, Santos enthused. He won in a designer competition. First as a runner-up, third place, and then bagging the The Hat Magazine's Designer of the Year in 2013 it opened an opportunity for him to have a stand in a trade show in Paris. That's how his brand was born and he has been showcasing his collection every season. I have always been a fan of fashion but I never thought I'd be in a trade show, selling hats, he told ABS-CBN Europe News during the recent premier class exhibition in Paris. His bespoke bold pieces with attention to detail, secured his place in the millinery industry. He created headpieces that were featured in various magazines such as Vogue, Cosmopolitan, L. Tatler, The Royal Ascot Style Guide and many more. Not long ago, he also made a hat for Lady Gaga. She wore it in a Million Reason video. That was the hat she wore for almost the entire duration of the video, said Santos. He was also inspired by head Doyen Stephen Jones, trained and collaborated with some of the respected names in the millinery circle, such as Noel Stewart. Santos likes to put his unique personal stamp in his creations and realized the pride in using indigenous Philippine fiber such as Cinnamay and Pinugpak. They are valued here and they're a whole different way of using the material, he said. Juvenile and motivated. Santos once dreamt of becoming a backup dancer of singer Janet Jackson. He has come a long way since. From a ballet dancer, he reinvented himself to become a milliner. Even the Queen quipped it was quite a leap. But he pursued his passion, lived his dreams and he always looks back at his roots. In most of my collection, there is a Filipino there, somewhere, somehow, said Santos.